Hello, welcome to the Paul's Gist Clinic website. My name is Jane Bressington and I'm hoping that I'll be able to explain to you what Paul's Gist is. Um, Gist is a rare form of cancer affecting the soft tissues of the digestive tract uh, and it's most often found in the stomach. It stands for gastrointestinal stromal tumour. I hadn't heard of it until 2010, which was when my 15 year old daughter Eve was diagnosed with um, an ultra rare form of this cancer called a paediatric wild type gist. And at that time we were told um, there aren't any treatments, um, there's no cure, and then there's no research. So um, an impossible situation because nobody's actually looking to find a cure. Uh, we were advised as a family that we would probably need to move to America as it was the only place that had started to investigate and they'd started the investigations by setting up a special clinic twice a year at the National Institutes of Health in Washington. So even I attended the clinic and um, the experts there were very thorough and they advised Eve's treatment pathway. Um, it was a huge relief to meet people who knew about her situation um, and as a result of that meeting we felt completely empowered rather than totally helpless and that was an amazing feeling in such a terrible situation and on the way home I just felt incredibly angry that we didn't have something like this at home in the UK so um, at that point I just decided that's it we're going to have to have a clinic and research in the UK um, I can't allow a situation where those things don't exist not to happen. So um, I prepared a proposal and presented it to the only charity I could find who really focused on GIST cancer at the time, GIST Cancer UK as they're now known, and they helped me contact um, the GIST specialists that they knew about at the time. And of those doctors, Dr Ramesh Balusu stepped forward to say that he would like to lead this initiative um, because he had patients he wanted to do more for. And having met with him, uh, we agreed that we were going to call this initiative Paul's Gist. And that stands for Paediatric, Adolescent, Wild Type and Syndromic Gist. Uh, Paul's Gist was born at that point and really it pulls together all the ultra rare subtypes of Gist cancer who, for those patients who don't have effective treatments and where surgery isn't curative. Dr. Belusu um, advised us at that time that to get from where we were to having research and improved treatments and the possibility of a cure, um, we'd need to set up an infrastructure in the UK to support that. And by infrastructure, he meant, yes, we'd need the clinic to be able to you know, gather information on patients. We'd need a tissue bank so that researchers had a place to collect raw materials. Um, We'd need a registry so that we could keep track of where everyone is and uh, their circumstances. We'd need researchers trying to grow some of these tumour cells um, outside of the body in petri dishes. And um, we'd need clinical trials. And for all these things, we would need funds because um, it's not natural for the NHS to set these things up for rare cancer groups. So the fundraising started in earnest. Um, my family and friends were absolutely beyond wonderful and anyone who'd listen really was uh, you know contacted to say please will you help and we were set a target initially of £40,000 to set up the clinic. It took us four years to raise those funds uh, but, but obviously there was an awful lot of networking on the other topics as well and um, thanks to Professor Andy Hall he helped us set up a tissue bank which opened in 2013. Um, our first Paul's Gist Clinic started in 2014 and now if we fast forward to um, 2022, when I'm re making this recording, um, we hold three Paul's Gist clinics each year and each clinic is attended by around about eight patients, sometimes more, um, along with their family members who obviously have a significant interest in what's going on with their loved one. So this clinic, the Paul's Gist clinic, our clinical team are world leaders in this subject. Uh, patients and their local clinicians are given individualised treatment plans um, to meet their unique circumstances. Um, the funds that we raise support the clinic. They help patients and their families attend the clinic. The funds also 
fund Paul's Gist Research. And so far, um, we've raised funds and funded seven research projects and we're working towards clinical trials, but um, they will require significant funds if they are to happen. Patients who attend the clinic in Cambridge with their families experience firsthand the benefit of being advised by specialists who are dedicated to improving the outlook for Paul's Gist patients, as well as meeting up with other young Paul's Gist patients. It doesn't feel so lonely when you meet other patients and their families, you know, you're not alone. So this clinic is only the second clinic of its type in the world. And it's here in the UK, thanks to the generosity of supporters and the dedication of our wonderful doctors. Without help such as this, we wouldn't exist to offer hope of improved treatments and a cure for Paul's Gist cancer patients. So that's what it's all about. And um, I hope you find it helpful. Thank you.